up on my brain, crypto, oh yeah, same. Talk out with it cool, man, I swear to the lane. Ice for my neck, that shine like a chain. If you learn that money, man, I know you're saying. It kind of just by the stacks. That's with a hundred, what an hour gas. I went out of the hood. What's up, guys? Welcome back. Today, we're going to be looking at my three trades on the NASDAQ 100. So, basically, today I had three losers again. I had two buy side trades, and after that, I basically called the position invalid. So, I kind of figured, okay, I don't think the market is going up anyway, like anymore. And then, after that, I flipped to the sell side. I mean, it was a good sell side trade. I could have caught this move down. But just because of where I had my stop loss, I didn't want to take on too much risk just to prove that I'm right on this trade. So I got stopped out for $28 on the sell side trade. You'll see it here. So if I had more stop loss on it, I would have been able to capitalize on this trade. But I didn't have a big stop loss on it. So that was fine. I mean, right now I have a sell side trade and I have a different way I'm going to plan on approaching each day candle open and kind of see how we can trade it from there so the first trade is the buy side trade i entered one hour after market open that was at 14852 so you can see the market it kind of opened slightly above this zone but if you look really closely open below the close of the day before so that's something I should have actually looked at. But while it was actually pushing up, it gave me the like a false sense of security to think that the market was going to continue up. But I had a stop loss set at around 30 points below. So I got stopped out at 14.821.69. Put it here. And that was a total loss of 30.59. Right, the next one I entered about three hours after market open so that's around 9 p.m enter this trade to the buy side again and i mean uh during the video yesterday i had indicated that i was going to the buy side i went along with the trades they turned out to be wrong the second one was a loss of 25.9 and i got stopped out at 14 807.89. So, right there for a total loss of 25.9. You can see I had a stop loss at 14,808, but I actually closed it a little bit before. I mean, I'm not sure how that kind of translates to a live account, but hopefully, they don't be doing that when you have the fully funded account so the final one i entered to the sell side and look how deep i entered to the sell side it's closer to the middle of the candle so it's hard entering right here because you don't want to set a big stop loss only for the market to reverse and come all the way back up but then by here i was like yeah the sentiment is to the sell side but if they don't if the momentum doesn't continue i would get wrecked on the upside so i set my stop loss to about 28 and just said all right if i get stopped out it's fine even though i knew that there is a i would say 60 percent chance or even 55 percent chance of the market going down could actually see it based on how it was trading today it was basically just taking out the previous candle and by that time i was like damn i got hit out twice on the buy side trades and i don't want to just enter to the downside to flip the position i want to have a reason behind entering this trade so i got stopped out there right now i have two sell side trades just because of an expectation of at least a continuation of this trend so let's see how that plays out i have two sell side trades um this one let's move this down and i'll show you where i got stopped out 14754 0.55 that's where i got stopped out then if we even go down to let's say the four hour or one hour so where did i get stopped out this is actually where i got stopped out at around nine 
30 you can see this big <laughs> this it's just this big violent move to the upside it kind of tipped the top at 14.824 and then after that it was just huge sell side pressure and you could have entered but i wasn't paying attention to the markets all day today so that's what happens let's see how tomorrow plays out i mean the roof is looking like here but who knows let's see how it goes i'm still having a sell side bias so that's where i'm placing my trades for tomorrow similar risk i mean 20 to 40 dollars risk and i have two trades open so let's see how those play but i'll see you in tomorrow's video all right bye bye